scared uh, on all of these roads because we didn't have ridges on our tires. They weren't the best tires. So unless you have proper tires for some of these roads here in Mulehe, be careful because a lot of Mulehe, you have the main road, which is clear, but the off roads go down in the hill towards the water. speed bumps but there was a cute little park in the center and some really nice old school authentic restaurants that just were awesome Las Casitas there was one of my favorites it had old photos of you know the beginnings of Mulehe it's it's really cool food was pretty good too you can see all the palm trees by the water <laughs> La Paz. La Paz was one of my favorite cities. It was just, it reminded me of 1980s Miami a little bit. It had that kind of vibe. It was very cool. As you drive, the terrain changes. The desert has so many different looks and, and feels. You have one part that you're gonna see very rocky and mountainous with huge cactuses. And then you have another part that's very flat with bushes. It's pretty cool. You have a lot of time to um, stop and, and take photos. because you have slow slow trucks and cars and you won't have that much of a view to pass. 
fantastic because it's so curvy and you, it's between mountains, so you really have to be careful. It was gorgeous. It was so unique. A scene out of Scarface, 1980s, Cuba. I, I really loved La Paz. It was a city, but not too much city. The people were cool. Nobody was weird. Because we go to Kobo San, San Lucas, yeah? Yes. Uh, and can we ask him uh, if he has if he has them already? Because tomorrow morning I can bring the bike mm -hmm. and I need to leave to Kobo, uh, to El Pescadero, okay. my next location, uh, uh, the next day after. We had some difficulties. So if you have some difficulties with the bike, we have some difficulties with a tiny little leak in the front. But everybody was super helpful. The good thing about being in an Airbnb versus an all-inclusive is, you know, we wanted to connect with the locals, and we did. And the positive thing with connecting with locals is that they help you out, and you know what's up. You know where to go, where not to go. So it wasn't too difficult to find someone to help us fix the bike. We, too. George, are we with you? Yep. Perfect. So, I had to check it before uh, doing the trip, okay. but I was a cheap ass, you know? I didn't want to pay. Okay. And I, but now it's okay. leaking like shit, yeah? Okay. So, I put these underwears here. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Do not go the oil on the brake. Yeah, yeah, it, it's good. Yeah. It's good. yeah. So, look, it's fucking leaking. So, you have the parts, you have everything? I think so. So I need it to be fixed by tomorrow at 12 o'clock. No problem. Perfect. You are licensed. Okay. How much it will be? Ooh, a lot. You wanna drive? No, thank, thank you very much. I just take it. Thank okay. you very much. The fish tackle makes me. I know. Yeah? You can leave you by the dump with the key there. You can walk. Half an hour you can come. Maybe. You find the one police or one guy. You might because you forget the there. You real? No idea. Alright, that's fucking something. Yeah. Maybe you see one police or one guy. Any. Uh, uh, Twenty thousand. Yeah. Take it out. 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 Take Uh, clean the chain. Okay, limpia la cadena. La barra de este lado, limpia la cadena. And see if something is uh, off. Okay. Just check it. Checkale ahí, que le va a ir mal direccionando. Direccionando ahí. Oh, sí, something for the Algo que le puede poner porque es para donde andan en Estados Unidos y eso es muy importante. But I dropped the bike. Yeah. So, so uh, you know, you drop it when you stand. You never drop it when you drive. Lucas is a, is a, like a, is a wild, wild place. Uh, so you can drink, you can do everything you want, you can do. Um, okay, I, got, a, I got you. Okay, okay it's wild, a lot. Very nice. Here, look, you see the stop, stop. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, just watch out. Yeah. Well, you can go, okay, go. But in four stop, if you come first, you move, move first. But sometimes you come here and one guy is there, you need to stop. So this guy pass first, you, and you can go. So if if he has the same sign, okay. If, so, if you got first here, you go. Yeah, you if go. he got first, he goes. Yep. Oh, he even gave him a ride back. Like, who does that? This is how sweet people from Mexico are. Everybody was willing to help us. It's relatively new, it's clear. The only thing you have to be prepared for is all the little off-roads. They don't have anything paved really, so it's just dirt roads with rocks. It was more rocky than your usual. <laughs> Airbnb. They opened up this year. There were little little houses, like little units, and there's a community kitchen in the middle. It was overlooking the beach in the desert, and there's a pool. It was absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend. <music> Yeah, this is the room. Something, yeah? Look, it's just gorgeous. This is my camera, yeah, I know. So, yeah, this is her stuff. Look how many creams, oils, stuff that she needs to bring. I have a full case, full side case, with all of this. What can you say? Nothing, we just go and this is here is the shower. Yeah? Come on, we are yeah.
100 pesos? Yeah, so 5 dollars. For how long? Uh, just all day, all yeah. Day? Without oxygen in the restroom. It does look like an entrance uh, to a, an intro to a drug movie, a little bit. This is a restaurant hotel, but it wasn't open when we were there because of COVID. Um, there were some issues with the contract in terms of who owns it, etc., which further delayed its opening, but it's supposed to be beautiful. We didn't get a chance to go up there. Burning Man. I don't know if anybody knows what Burning Man is, but it's, a, a, it's kind of like a hippie trans party on the sand by the beach. And you go through this very shady looking area under a bridge. I'm not gonna lie, I my heart stopped a couple of times because I was thinking, where are we going? It looked like a haunted movie a little bit. Like somebody would throw their bodies on the Random opening, but it was the, one of the dopest things I've seen. Coolest place I've been all of Mexico in the evening for sure. Gracias, señor. Adelante.